Hello witches and welcome to the slightly belated May 2023 witch casket unboxing. We have a very exciting box this month because it's herbology. Not that you can tell that from this box, but there is herbology in there. So I think we should dive straight in. So let the magic begin. <music> Okay, I'm actually opening this the day after summer solstice. You guys won't see it so soon, but I have been slightly delayed. I've been a little bit poorly, so we're just gonna dive straight in today and see what is in this Herbology box. I only know it's Herbology because I've also got the June box to unbox right next to me, and I opened that first and was like, oh, no, it's definitely not that month. So let's just dive straight in and have a look. And of course, they've gone for a beautiful green theme, which I like. I feel like, have we had Herbology before? That feels, maybe we've had Kitchen Witch, or I feel like we've had something herb-based before, so I'm excited to see, you know, if they've gone really into Herbology, what they have. Have. if they haven't got like a little vial that you can put things in and mix things in to represent that I'll be gutted okay so here is our lovely cheat sheet but we'll put that to one side because we don't want to have any spoilers oh oh this looks exciting okay so our print is very cute actually I like that so we have a cauldron with some herbs and some drying herbs loads of teacups which are cute some candles and some witchy books and there's a pumpkin so it's almost giving like autumn vibes which I really like that kind of Samhain feel to it but I feel like that'd be really nice on like a spring or an autumn altar actually because the colours are quite soft the palette's quite soft so you could probably get away with that for both both seasons if you do change up your altar like I do so I quite like that print next up we have witches apothecary labels this is cute I like this colour let's have a little look through here I love that kind of muted green it's really nice oh it's gonna rip it okay oh, it makes me so sad when I rip these things <laughs> how cute are these oh my gosh oh they're all different I like that so we have three different sheets with different shapes on them which is really nice that one you can't really probably see very well but that is really nice I think I like this one the best so that's quite good fun so I'm wondering if there'll be something else inside the casket which we can use this with usually they're very good at pairing things up so I'm going to say probably okay then we have a little book of Herbal Magic by Deb Robinson. That's really sweet. So I love when they do spells or even just information booklets. I've got quite a few now that I've got saved and this is really nice. This feels like it's got loads of information in it. Yeah, oh, this is pretty. Like, look at the inside. That's really lovely. Obviously, I'll do a close up for you guys. But there's some really nice things in here. So yeah, there's, there's lots of good stuff. Protection candle, protection salt, protection magic, healing magic, distance healing spell. Oh, there's loads of really lovely things in here. And I really like that they've gone for color as well. They don't normally go for color inside the book. So that's probably cost them a bit more to print and to have done. So thank you for putting that little bit extra in ladies. So I think that actually looks really nice. Okay, we then have a calming witch's brew kit. Contains everything you need to make your own magical brew. Oh, this is exciting. Now they have given us a tea strainer before. So I'm wondering if they're gonna hope that we put those together I don't know oh my god there's so much in here okay so we have a tea bag and then two bags of herbs and it says you will need lemon verbena chamomile and a tea pouch and yes so this is something to be to be drank drunk drunk this is something to be drunk drank this is something you can drink <sighs> because I'm pretty sure we've had one before which was for a bath ritual and I don't really don't really see why you couldn't put this in the bath chamomile's pretty relaxing lemon verbena verbena lemon verbena lemon verbena no lemon verbena <laughs> lemon verbena is quite an uplifting smell so i feel like you could put that in the bath if you wanted to no harm would come i'm sure so that's cute i like that that's slightly more exciting than just having two tea bags i like that idea this is cute i can feel what this is i think i think this is for herbs this is so cute i can feel it's gonna be cute ah <gasps> yeah look it's like a little shovel you can't see that at all with my top. It's like a little shovel. And I would imagine if you had an apothecary or if you are somebody who just has loads of different herbs and things that you would scoop it up. You know, like when you go to a pick and mix thing in a shop and you get different sweets and they have little scoops. This is like the herb, the witch version of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, let's see what it says in the cheat sheet. Hang on. I don't see this in the cheat sheet. Am I just being really silly? That's weird. Well, I like that anyway. Okay, next up we have, let me just get the dust off. It's not really dust. It's like the squishies leaf like what would you call it sediment i don't know anyway so we have a witch casket exclusive herbology oracle that's a cute idea this enchanting deck offers insight into the areas which need your focus pull a card to offer inspiration as you go about your daily life and discover what needs your attention to promote happiness and well-being all right then let's see what's it like these are quite big cards actually they normally do thinner ones than this oh these are nice so on the back 
you can't really see that but it does just say herbal oracle and then on the front the cards are in different colors and it says what herb it is and what it does so star any for boundaries and basil for harmony and bay leaf for success i do always carry a bay leaf in my purse so yeah these are really cute and they're nice colors again i really like that kind of muted green color i really like that so they've gone for a really nice color palette and i mean that's big enough that that's something you can probably put on your altar as well which would be really nice if you're working with partic particular why can't I speak today? If you're working with particular herbs, so that's cute. Then we have a very cute spell casting herb bowl set. Now this sounds cute. Oh wow. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, what a lovely idea. I really like it. Wow, there's loads. Three. That is so pretty. What do we think they're made of? They don't I don't know if they're metal. Anyway, they've got three different designs. So we have one with a little moon, which is cute, one with a moon and a different herb, and then we have a pentacle or pentagram, which is really pretty. I really like that. So you pop your herbs in there to dry. What a lovely idea. And I mean, if you don't want to work with herbs, then you can obviously put crystals in here, or I don't know, you could use it as a tea bag strainer, I'm sure, because it feels like it's durable enough for that, although you might have to be careful when you wash it that you don't scratch the design off. But that's a really lovely idea. What do we have next? Oh, let's go for this. This, oh no, let's do, wow. Oh yeah, okay, we will go for the pin. I really like this pin. So it's an enamel, almost like a copper colored enamel, and it's in a diamond shape with a pentagram on it. I wouldn't say that that necessarily links to herbology. Maybe there could have been something else that connected it to that. But if we're just talking about enamel pins, I mean, what have they said here? Yeah, ornate pentacle enamel pin. Yeah, so I wouldn't say it's like particularly connected to herbology, but that's fine. It's still a very pretty pin. I would definitely wear that. I like that a lot. Oh, what's that? Oh my God, there's loads in here. Let's do the crystal. That looks like a nice crystal. What is it, moss agate or something? Yes, <laughs> I finally got one right. Oh my God. Okay, so we have moss agate. This is nice, nice little tumbled piece. It says moss agate is a stone of emotional balance and growth. Well, I think we could all do with emotional balance sometimes. It helps us to process and understand our emotions and aids with new beginnings. A perfect stone for emotional healing, stability and spiritual grounding. That's really nice. I like that one. It's always nice when you get a crystal and it is actually one that you genuinely like rather than you're like, mm, I don't know, maybe I could connect to that. So yeah, that's pretty. Okay, we have got the scroll, which I'll be honest with you, I didn't even see it, it was so tightly wrapped. It's got this really pretty sticker on it. Sometimes I do wish that they did ribbon though, because I always rip when I do this. So we have simple herbal potions. These easy to make water-based herbal infusions can be used for cleansing your magical tools, anointing tools, and candles and they can be added to bath rituals and drank as a herbal brew. Well, that's a nice idea. Headache potion. Right, well, I'm all over that like a rash. That sounds great. Oh, what a lovely idea, I like that. Then we have this very light box. Abundance herb blend, a magical blend of mint, vervain and, and basil. <laughs> Try not to drop it. Have a little look, what have we got? Is it just wrapped up? Yeah, so, well, it smells nice and minty. So just wrapped up in paper, which is really nice. And then on the back it says, use this magical herb blend in spells and rituals to attract abundance, use to dress or circle candles, to add to charm bags and spell jars or ritual baths. Lovely. That's really nice. I really like the packaging that they've used. Okay, what have we got next? Let's do this, which sounds really cool. A herb drying hanger. I mean, what is more cool than that? And then on the back it says, take small bunches of herbs and hang them on the hanger, spacing them far enough apart so they aren't touching. Put them in a cool, dark spot where it's dry and there's good air circulation. Okay, well, let's just have a look and see how cute this is, because surely, oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, they're little pegs. Okay, I'm with it now. <laughs> oh, my brain. Okay, that's a really cute idea. So you have this hanging up and then you have the little pegs that you can hang your herbs and clip them to. And then it's got some example of some herbs. I would say what they are, but honestly, I don't know. Maybe that's basil, but honestly, I, I, they could just be generic cute plants. So that's really cute. I really like that. What a lovely gift to include. Let me just pop that pin, pin, peg, peg back. So the final item we have is our final piece in the Elemental Talisman series. And this one is spirit, which is my favorite. And so we have the would you call it the alchemical symbol for spirit? I mean, I guess so, because it's just a circle. And then on the back it says, which casket spirit? I'm still completely clueless as to what we're gonna do with these. I was hoping that there'd be more information. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's not really any information. Like, obviously it is meant to be a talisman, so I would presume you'd wear it or maybe have it as a key ring or something. But I would have loved if they'd included something that we could put them on with, whether it's, you know, a bit of cord for a necklace or a key ring that we can change which one we want or something. I feel like that would have been really nice because I would probably be less likely to actually use these because I haven't got anything to use them with, if that makes sense. So I don't know if you got this box or if you've got any of the recent boxes that had the talismans, how are 
are you using them? What are you doing with them? Let me know in the comments below. That would be really helpful. I found it in the book. It says herb scoop in presentation pouch and it's an ultra essential use this handy tool to scoop your magical herbs during spell work. So there we go. So you can use that with your cute abundance herb blend right and like scoop out how much you want whether you're going to put it in a jar or around a candle like whatever you want to do on the bath I don't know but I really like that I love when they do like metal wear it's always good so that's everything what did you guys think I think my favorite items oh possibly the little drying bowls I think they're really cute and I do think the scoop and the hanger because that's just such a lovely idea so probably those three are my top three for this month but what did you guys think did you get this box or even if you just watched this what did you think of the items has it inspired you to maybe delve into the witch casket and maybe join that would be really great let me know in the comments below but i hope that you've enjoyed this and i will see you in my next video awesome Whee! so i can't really see any information here oh yeah here we go how does that work then well that has totally ruined that hello 